Hey everybody, welcome to the show that never gets an A for effort. That's right, it's five minutes you won't get back. A little show we waste five minutes of your time, but just remember the five minutes doesn't start until we say it does. I'm Brian. I'm Heather. And did you know that... Um, did you know Amazon is driving right down the road? Go ahead. <laughs> Are you expecting a package? No, not today. No. Okay. So, uh, did you know a caterpillar has more muscles than a human? No. Yeah. So, okay, the human body has more than 650 skeletal muscles and some figures go up to 840 depending on how experts count them. However, caterpillars have a whopping 4,000 muscles. 4,000 muscles. Because they, they, do, they do this business. With um, like 248 this. muscles just in their head alone because they need a lot of muscles to push their bodies along. So all you people that are breakdancing and doing the centipede, which kind of correlates to something we're talking about today, but if you're doing a centipede, break dancing you know why you need that many muscles there you go yeah we should just do an animal show forget this stupid other thing we do, do an animal show. <laughs> anyway that's just my opinion all right so um yeah so you ready to start the five minutes started okay so we're just going to share a funny story um when we were running a place here in kentucky and uh, uh when we got here it had been a while before anybody had lived in this house so there were couple of weeks or a, a couple month or month so, so. Yeah, anyway yeah, there were a bunch of newspapers on the driveway apparently we get a newspaper every week <laughs> right a newspaper what's that I know. but anyway as we as i cleaned up the newspapers i'm like good we got them all cleaned up because they've been there for a while they're soggy and all that other junk um and um there's a tree in our like further forward by the road um that you don't see but uh, i might go to b-roll maybe not right but anyways the tree that's closer to the road that's this direction um we noticed it had um we found like one newspaper in it and then i found another newspaper in it like way up high in the tree and a third new in fact you know what there's the there's the tree right there anyway so we found multiple newspapers was, in it newspapers, but that but that's but that's the thing the tree behind us that's that's when it's the whole yard they that's had to, they had to throw <laughs> the newspaper all the way from the yard. I, I'm pointing, I know you can't see it, way out there. Way out there. And they had to get it all the way over here so into this tree. I am, it was like right up on the top of this tree. I am just saying to Somebody. the to the paper boy that will never see this show. And like I said, this is just this is just wanting to share with the paper boy. Kudos for yeah. hitting, hitting that tree. That, I mean, when we found the ones in the other tree, we were like, Okay, that's annoying. In fact, there's one still up there that we can't get to that I mentioned about. Um, but anyway, but but when we found out there's papers back there, we're like, dang, so he's go got some, some serious newspaper throwing skills. And I know there's not a lot of people out here anymore that do the nas the nasal, the newspaper throwing. And for all the people that do 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 for all the people that do do the newspaper throwing, kudos, because I don't know, it seems to be a lost art. So anyways, it brought to uh, my mind uh, the old video game, Paperboy. Have you ever played Paperboy? I have not. Uh, that was one of my favorites back in the day. And um, yeah, it was, a, it was a cool video game. You ride and throw papers. And I'm sure I'll insert a clip here. But actually, I was laughing about it because I was thinking, um, if you play Paperboy, you have to avoid obstacles and all that other junk. Um, but the funny thing is some of the obstacles you have to avoid... Um, while you're going down the street, you have to avoid basically these two twin brothers that are wearing a lot of denim fighting each other in the middle of the road or on the side of the road. You just have to avoid them, as well as avoiding this drunk guy walking down the street. It, a, it looks like he's kind of pimped out a little bit. Yeah, and it's and there's a break dancer. Like I said, there's a break dancer spinning. That's fine. And there's also at one point a guy breaking into a window in one of the houses. Ooh. This is all happening. Are you in, supposed to hit him? No, hit him no. With the but this is all happening in broad daylight. Come on, people. What kind of neighborhood is this? This kid should not be delivering papers in this neighborhood mm. because apparently no <laughs> nobody wants to do anything in the dead of night. They figure this neighborhood nobody cares. I'm just gonna break into this house. We're gonna have potentially two skinheads fighting each other and some drunk pimp walking down the road what are, what are we teaching our children <laughs> about our communities yeah. yeah but it was one of my favorite games it had nothing to do with the pimp nor the fighting denim guys and and what what gaming system was this on was this like nintendo oh, what gaming system it, heather this was it? arcade <laughs> this was bring a quarter and drop it in or wait in oh. line and get your i don't remember did i have it for i don't think i ever had it on a home system I just liked it too because you could actually play like it was handlebars. Yeah. Like if I remember correctly, it was handlebars. You oh, navigate. Oh, had to steer. And yeah, 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 to steer it. You know, at the end, at the end of each block, you'd go or each house or that row of houses. You had like a 
uh, obstacle course and you could jump and throw newspapers at uh, uh, archery targets. And then at the end, you got to the end of that specific neighborhood and then there'd be like, you'd cross the finish line and there'd be a audience there at the end. Like They were like, you lived in that neighborhood. <laughs> and they're applauding you, which you didn't I'm, I'm sure there was a whole lot of paper boys that that didn't happen with because I know every paper boy's dream is to reach a finish line and have a crowd of people applaud him for throwing stuff at trees like this. Throwing, throwing money at him. I'm just glad he didn't break any of the windows with the, I'm talking about here, yeah. not on paper boy. Oh, and, and there's also like strange graveyards you drive by and throw newspapers at cemetery. Do zombies come out and you have to like I don't remember I don't think I don't think that happened uh, so okay. anyways but anyways kudos to the paper boy once again whoever you are props for having such great aim and having some fun and not taking any of the house out thank you and if you have a chance play paper boy and find out what's going on in that neighborhood and maybe you'll feel a little bit better about yours whatever's going on hey <laughs> you could have a guy doing heroin next door it might be safer than being in a paper boy environment so <laughs> that's all we got um i'm brian i'm heather and just remember it isn't a great day until we wasted five minutes, five minutes of your, your time. time and we'll see you next week Bye. i'll still be trying to get that paper out of the tree up there yep it's all good we need a ladder we'll buy one eventually <laughs>